it is long. So <laughs> um, in other words, get a drink. Get the lights. So this is a letter to my mom. Ask me how I was doing. How are you? That could help, actually. <laughs> how I was doing, and the truth is, I would reply that I was. And I would reply truthfully that I was fine. And the reason that I felt fine is because Mom and I had nothing left unsaid between us. We had. We had truly said it all. But this is just mostly true. So, Mom, do you remember when I was six? And this is actually after my memories of being at your house. So, I remember being at your house at five. At six, Mom, do you remember? that I was running around in the backyard and had a Superman cape on. Did you remember seeing me from the window? Did you remember running from the house as I dangled on my neck? I had jumped off a branch from the tree and it caught me. I couldn't breathe. And I remember, like a fish out of water, I was trying to catch my breath, trying to catch my breath, and I kept running from the house. And she grabbed me and she lifted me up. I think, as I reflected on my mom's life with me and my mother, that's the only thing we didn't talk about. So mom, I'm on your balcony this evening, in the chairs, I'm stretched out, and I'm looking out over in this bay. The sun is setting, it's early still, and there are a few light clouds. <laughs> but mostly wisps and swirls of color. And for those of you who know Mom, it was her kind of sky. The soft transitions from lights to blues to soft pinks and reds and a touch of purple and colors that rolled and cascaded and they shrieked. And I, I don't know if any of you saw it last night. I tried to email it around, but it was a crazy sunset. Pretty red. It did get very red. Yeah. It did get amazingly red. I sent some pictures of to my friends in Toronto. <laughs> so there's a line in the video that we're going to watch, and we have to watch it because mm -hmm. mom said <laughs> watch this video for celebration of life. So we're going to watch this video, and I hadn't seen it for 20 years. And I watched it at Peter's house uh, the other night, so it was a real treat for me. And there's a line in the video where Mum states that there's a point, and when she's painting, there's a there's a point where the subject doesn't matter any longer, and it's only about the painting. And I just want to acknowledge Mum that that is truly a transcendent thing to say and a transcendent viewpoint. Painting, painting and painting to a point where the subject just doesn't matter anymore. It's about the painting. So when I hear that, and when I heard the video, I really understood that you did see sunsets differently. And we all know mom, and she did see sunsets differently. And more than just sunsets, mom, you smell flowers. You met people, Sherry. You enjoy your friends, your coffees, your kids, yeah. spouses. Yeah. Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> 
<laughs> like this. And mom, do you get it? Uh, it through the same lens as she viewed the sunset. And so mom, I believe, I believe that because you developed this perspective that you were able to see things that you'll see your way through unimaginable circumstances. And there are people in this room who help mom get through incredible, incredibly difficult situations and incredible health issues. And I have known you for many, many years from emails and from phone calls. And there are heroes in the room. I will just say that. But mom, but, I, but what I'm trying to say is that I believe that she, had, because she had developed this perspective, that she was able to weigh, she was able to see her way through these unimaginable challenges. And evidently, an intrinsic belief in beauty greater than ourselves can facilitate the conquering of, life highest, of life's highest obstacles. There's really no other explanation. So now, mom, there's a sliver of a moon that appears between the clouds. And Jacob pointed it out. The sky is darker, there's more yellows and more reds, bleeding red, and oh, some drama in the sky. And Mom, we all know you love a bit of drama. <laughs> it's the kind of sky you can look at and close your eyes and feel. The kind of sky. kind of sky that if mom was talking about, she would start talking faster and in a higher pitch because the colors resonated and she just, as I'm talking about, got it differently than anybody else. And so I'm going to invite the people listening to me, mom, uh, to try closing their eyes and imagine that sky and imagine the lines of color and the streaks and the magic. And mom, this sky reminds me And I can't believe she, she was very, very set on what was going to happen. Like this day reminds me of the day she had picked out for her bucket list. And we were going to go rent a Mustang convertible and blare music and drive the Sea Sky Highway. Fast, fast. Okay. And this is towards the end of her life. So she was not strong, but this was, we were going to do this. And we got... We got to the rental counter at Avis, like on a busy weekend in Vancouver, and I'm like, I'd like a Mustang convertible. And the guy's like, Sir, do you have a reservation? <laughs> <laughs> this poor guy had to call downtown. Anyway, we, this guy, now we're friends. He got a Mustang <laughs> Because I'm like, <laughs> There's no no. So then we got the Mustang, and, and we did it. And so. The sky last night, Mom, reminds me of that day when we drove faster and faster up to see the sky highway and back down. And so, have a mint, think about Mom, and I'm not done, because I'm, I'm like well short of 45 minutes. <laughs> so, so, I want to play, play this song that, like, literally, we played it. And she looked at me like, what? And I'm like, okay, yeah, we like... <laughs> So this was her song that we had listened to. And this is the picture of that day. And if you can, I'll pass it around. You can see.